everyone, Kimberly Beato here and Seat of Almost Energy. William has just gone to bed because he's starting to get temperamental, which means he's tired. Um, I do apologise for the big gaps of no videos. As you all know, I am pregnant for the second time, so my energy is a little bit low. But I just thought I'd do a vlog and then you can see what we're like at the moment. This one is a proper movie ass. <laughs> for no reason it's, oh it's every day it's like complain 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 guess what complain <laughs> it's well annoying what see what i mean say? see what i mean just moody moody but moody ass i'm the one that's pregnant and he's the one that's moody But yeah, um, with me at the minute, for some reason, today, not yesterday, not the day before, not last week, today, I'm feeling a little bit emotional for no reason. And I, th I think it's about my babies. That's what I keep thinking about. And I'm like, ah, I'm so emotional, but in a really nice way. I think I've got baby blues. <laughs> um... And this one is just temper, temper, temper. And complain, complain, complain. It's like a nag. It's like one of them old women or an old man with a newspaper. Like, will you be quiet? I'm trying to read my newspaper. He's like that at the minute. So moody. Really? And so irritating. He just got a really old man vibe <laughs> and I'm older than you so don't know what's quite wrong there um but yeah and that is going on in our life at the moment and I have my set scan on the 7th from what I can recall and we think it's a girl as I said in the last video um and I think this one is is a an old man trapped in a younger younger man's body because oh god <laughs> <laughs> the moods <sighs> and he says I can play. <laughs> Have you seen how you can play? <laughs> Um, but yeah, as you can tell, we both look like scruffs today and that is just because, well, you know, I'm pregnant. I have a baby that's around 10 months old, so I have porridge on me and rice cakes <laughs> and I've not had time yet to, you know, make myself look and feel great with my appearance because I got up for like just after seven. Then William got up after Chris got up. I made everyone a brew. Well, not everyone, obviously, because William would be flying on the roof somewhere <laughs> if I made him a brew. But <laughs> yeah. And then Chris wanted to get a breakfast with no money. <laughs> like, what the <laughs> um yeah and he, he says he can't be asked cooking but this one is terrible with mummy just to let you all know i have to stop him from buying things or spending money when we haven't got it because he doesn't think do you chris what <laughs> all you think about is what you want in that time you don't think about the consequences of getting that thing when you have no money what noodle <laughs> um you don't even want pot noodle all <laughs> i wanted was a breakfast um and i can't be bothered cooking 
Do you know what? You would have been screwed. Because, like, when I lived on my own and he lived on his own and we didn't talk to each other, Chris used to only get takeaways. He never used to cook or anything. And I would literally be in my flat, slaving away every single day, all day, because I could not afford a takeaway. And because I'm sensible and don't spend my money on shit. <laughs> What did you do? You got takeaway after takeaway of pizza. I like pizza. I know. It's always pizza. Pizza, 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 pizza. And I was having butties. I was making my own breakfasts. Own dinners. And I did that for two and a half years. So, if you can't be, be arse cooking, how do you think I feel? <laughs> You never cooked when you lived by yourself, so that's less, less time. And I ate all day, every day. And I had to cook it all. And I had to wash my own pots every two minutes. And I cleaned my flat like every single day. And I did a washing every day. And I did my bedding every week. And I think that's quite active. Mm. <sighs> Pot noodle. Pot noodle. But yeah, the face on Chris right now in this video is what he's like every day <laughs> at the minute. I'm like, fuck's sake. <laughs> How can I make him like, you know, a little bit more bubbly or something? Or he's not just miserable. Shouldn't be miserable though, you've got a beautiful son in there that's just the cutest in the world. Mm -hmm. And you've got a baby bump in there which is already kicking. <laughs> and yeah, you've got a family, so you've got nothing to be miserable about. So, I don't know. so cheer the fuck up and stop being a miserable ass. I don't feel good. I know, it's kind of blatantly obvious, Chris. <laughs> And I think anyone that's watching this video would know that. <laughs> Suck my dick. <laughs> Suck my dick. <laughs> Three times a year. It's bigger than yours. Yeah, I know. And my balls bigger than yours. They're like two planets together. A bit like your butt. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By the way, for pregnant women that I've only just got pregnant and have never been through the experience before. Um, and you're finding it a pain in the ass to get each individual vitamin you need while pregnant because you have to check whether it's suitable for pregnant women or not. Get pregnant care. Yeah, it's a little bit more expensive, but it works. And you don't have to take about 12 different tablets you take one a day. That is it, literally. That's too also, much. <laughs> there's also tablets for breastfeeding, just to let you know. I can't remember what the name is. <sighs> but, yeah. Always take the vitamins. The baby needs the nutrients. And try and eat some veg with some meat. Not just shit all day, every day. <laughs> Your baby is eating that, okay? <laughs> Um, and yes, you might go through baby blues, like me, for instance. Um, and you also might go, get very hormonal sometimes. You might just get really, really angry and frustrated for no reason for about five minutes. But yeah, it goes away. You'll get used to it. Might not get used to the pain, though. <laughs> but... It's okay. You'll 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 get through it. I did, and I did it without an epidural, which I think is actually quite hard to do. <laughs> but you keep going, and don't be scared. That's the last thing you need, okay? And don't eat your last meal. Oh God! <laughs> the amount of times he says that day, mm. it's literally every day. If I ask him something, he'll say, I can tell you what it is, don't eat your little snow. I'm like, 
I say, right, don't say don't eat yellow snow again. I'll say don't eat brown snow. There's an old saying. So I'm old. You are old. Thank you. Now all you need is a newspaper, your glasses on, and and I don't know what else. I don't think you need anything else to look any older. It's in my frame. Yeah, it's in my frame. I'm one of them, you know, things, tray, you need a food tray on your lap yeah. to show that you're really old as well. Yeah. <sighs> that was me. Um, but yeah, why don't you talk about something? It's good to start, you know, being a little bit more lively and less boring and less miserable. So, come on. I don't know what to say. See what I mean? <laughs> Come on. I don't feel good, so I don't want to. Oh, I'm trying to get him to feel better, but oh well. Um, but this is why we don't do videos much. But we will be doing videos again at some point that go on every day. And you know it because, come on, I used to do three videos a day. So you know that if I'm not doing three videos a day, I'm either too busy, too tired, or too hormonal, or Chris is just a moody ass. <laughs> That's about it. Um, oh, we've had Father's Day. Chris got um, a... In fact, do you want to grab them? Grab them both. And grab the card as well. Um, Because he got me my Mother's Day one when it was Mother's Day. And then I got him one on Father's Day. But his came really, really early. Mine came early, but not that early. I got him a card. My card's in a box. Because I, I keep all the things that mean something to me. But this is what I got Chris for Father's Day. For William and I think it's dead sweet and then we got that for a card which is it's so cute and then Chris got me that one and obviously it's all off the loom we just you know it's kind of too young to you know register those things but yeah, I think they're so cute. And he drew on the card. Yeah, he did. He drew on both cards. Um, we let him use the pen and it was quite cute. Um, yeah. And I have a big stash of munches. I just want to show you this is this is what munch I eat. I eat a lot of meals though as well. And this is all the munch I've not eaten yet. I've got everything in this. I've got cake, I've got what's it, I've got cocoa pop bars, I've got chicken which needs to be thrown out because I'm not eating it. Uh, I've got beef jerky, cookies, Really don't dark chocolate. Oh my god, I love dark chocolate. Um, Chris has already eaten all of his, and surprisingly, when I'm pregnant, I don't actually eat as much shit. But when I'm not pregnant, I eat and that would be gone by now if I wasn't pregnant. Let's put it that way. And if I have um, a McDonald's or anything. When I'm not pregnant, I have two Big Mac meals. So that's two Big Macs and two lots of French fries. I have chicken nuggets. I have two double cheeseburgers with bacon for one meal. That is my appetite when I'm not pregnant. When I'm pregnant, babies don't normally like anything I like. So I end up with loads of fish food. I love fish food anyway in general when I'm not pregnant obviously and 
I don't like normal sushi, the one that's actually not cooked. I like the ones in the shops where it's actually smoked and it's actually cooked. I love sushi. That sushi. Not the not cooked one. Um, and I love fish. And I don't know why I'm talking about food, but I'm going on about my appetite. Um, so if, if you're pregnant or you are with someone that's pregnant, their appetite's going to be probably very different when they're pregnant to how they normally are. And it doesn't mean anything if you don't have as big of an appetite. It just means the baby doesn't like the food that she eats. That's it. <laughs> um, I don't have cravings. Because the food that I enjoy pregnant, I enjoy when I'm not pregnant as well. I just have a lot more fatty food when I'm not pregnant. <laughs> um, and William was talking in his bed and it's raining outside. Yeah. <laughs> it's very, um, you know, like the spitty kind of rain today, kind of foggy. Oh good. Yeah. And I've also got muffins. I had chocolate muffins yesterday. They're blueberry muffins. And oh my god, you know what you want to try. If you like fish and you like bagels and you like cheese, oh my god, you need to put them all together. But use Philadelphia with salmon and bagels. Oh my god, they're so nice. And apple rice cakes. That's William's <laughs> baby <laughs> rice cakes. Um, he's at the moment. I think he's on cheese rice cakes. Cheese rice cakes. You said cheese rice cakes. No, we had them last time. Oh. Get them well, he rice. had cheese cake, cheese, cheese cake, cheese rice apples. cakes, and these are apple rice cakes. But yeah, he loves them. He'll literally walk over to us in his walker for a rice cake. <laughs> it's so cute. And then it leaves. Yeah. Screeches us. It runs us over with that walker all the time. Or he tries to follow us everywhere. <laughs> He'll follow me to the toilet. And I follow Chris to the kitchen. Or vice versa. And it's so cute. It's mad how much love you have for your kids. Like, if you're a person that's not really romantic and you're a person that doesn't really love deep normally when you have a child you will you'll see the difference it is immense like they could do anything to hurt you but you'll still love them but anyone else you're like hey don't you disrespect me uh-huh <laughs> it runs over my feet all the time i know i can keep putting my feet up yeah and in a relationship what would you do You'd be like, oh my god, you'd be going sick. But because it's your baby, you love them so much, you don't care what they do to you. It's mental. <laughs> and obviously some parents aren't loving, so some won't be like that, but most will. And I think it's immense. That's why they're funny. Yeah. He's got my patience. He's got Chris's outbursts of rage <laughs> and moodiness. He's got my, when I'm like doing my own thing, he's got my ignorance and he's got your obliviousness when you're reading or watching something. It's, it's so funny. It makes me laugh so much. I'm like, how can people not like these things on me? It's a delight. <laughs> I find it damn cute and delightful. And like some people will be like, God, she's so annoying. I'm like, I might want to annoy you more. <laughs> I've just got a very big sense of humour. And when someone finds me annoying, I am very stubborn. So I'm going to be like, I'm going to annoy you more now because you said that. <laughs> And William is the same, he's just as stubborn as me, and it's so cute. 
It is kind of funny. It is. It's really funny. It's really cute. And I really don't get why people don't like it on adults. I think it's still cute and still quite funny. And I think it takes a sense of humour to actually not get bothered by it. <sighs> you know what else is funny? What? My face. Damn right. <laughs> now I feel insulted. <laughs> you asked for it. But, yeah. Um, I'm not gonna, you know, make the video last too long because obviously I don't want to bore everyone. But I've made a new Facebook page just to let you all know. It's got loads of stuff on it it's not just got my youtube videos it's got my pictures it's got some vlogs it's got information on my life it's got everything anything that you want to know about me that i will show is on there or noodles god's sake <laughs> but yeah um i've popped it in one of the links in my face uh, in my youtube account you know where you can see my channel art, channel oh. art, it's got my Facebook, my Instagram and my Twitter hmm. and I changed it from my personal Facebook account to my Facebook page because my Facebook page actually shows a little bit more with what you want to see because I know some of you like knowing about the people you watch so I did that so that you can and I did it so it's not actually my personal Facebook because obviously if it gets quite big I don't really want 50 billion friend requests and messages because there's a limit of 5,000 and it'll just pick my head so you've got my Facebook page anyone can follow that <laughs> um, but yeah thanks for watching stay tuned and toodaloo mofos Bye.